Hello all, and welcome back to Creos Gaming. I am continuing my story playthrough of Creeper World 3. Uh, in the last video, we went through Wuin and obtained the Guppy, and some, uh, and also got the shield key for Chanson. You can see that Chanson has the green bubble around it, meaning it has been beat uh, or finished. I did not, however, end up getting the intro to Chanson for some reason, so I'm going to jump back over to re-record that. So we're going to restart the world. And come down here to Archive Transmissions. Leah. At last, we have arrived at the warp inhibitor world in this system. Abraxas. This world looks like it was engineered for a fight. Leah. Indeed it was. There is Tycon military tech everywhere. There are even three surviving Bertha cannons. It is surprising they have not been destroyed. Bertha cannons can fire massive projectiles anywhere on the map. There is no better weapon for inflicting huge damage to the creeper. Their weakness is they require significant ammo and have a long fire cycle. Abraxas. That sounds like something worth fighting for. I'll make it a priority to secure them. Leah, it seems that the creeper ignores some things. Artifacts, messages, tech, now these Bertha cannons. What do they have in common? Nothing intrinsic. Perhaps there is something that has been added to each item. I'll conduct careful scans of every item we have collected. It will take some time to complete, however. All right. I'll initiate ground actions and secure this world. Looks like some emitters and some slip emitters. Those Tycon towers. Perhaps they are inactive? Uh, click. Parked over space. Space that has been carefully carved into a pattern. It seems unlikely, but perhaps... Another Tycon weapon system corrupted by the Creeper? It seems unlikely, but the Tycon developed gliders that moved through space. The idea was to hit the Creeper from where it was least likely to persist. These gliders have had powerful antimatter powered beams. When in range, they would combine all of their antimatter with matter and focus the energy into a beam. Unfortunately for the glider, it would be destroyed in the process. I have no records that the Tycon or any subsequent civilization ever got the system to work properly and reliably, so it is unlikely to find them here, but the spatial pattern looks like one of their testing grounds. If this was a military testing ground, and the Creeper has corrupted the glider tech, will there be any way to defend against it? Destruction of the Tycon towers would prevent the creation of new gliders. Of course, any unit that gets in range of a glider will be destroyed. The only weapon in our arsenal that might damage a glider would be the sniper. The focused beam from the sniper was designed to penetrate the creeper-infused shells of a runner. That might be enough to penetrate the shields around the gliders, but this is all theoretical. The glider weapon system was never actually deployed. Well, Leah, I have a feeling we're about to find out otherwise. Okay, so we'll start by dropping two command centers to be able to take advantage of build time from both of them because we'll collect it, or we'll connect them with collectors, doubling up on collector build, which will get an energy infrastructure up faster. So that should work. Let's let that go. Make sure that they both connect. They do. All right, so while that's building, I can then build out the infrastructure here so that it's more expansive. And all right, it's going white, which is good. That means we've got what we need there. We'll get more energy production online. Fill in the gaps a little. Build a couple ore mines. I don't know where I'm going to use them, but I'd like to have them. Weapons-wise, I want a couple snipers ready to deal with the gliders. I need to get them up pretty quick and hope that they get armed fast enough to attack the gliders and don't just die immediately themselves. We'll see. All right. And then I can keep getting energy in place, get the forge online so that I can start bringing in upgrades, and then 
build in reactors to increase my production. Okay, so I'm pushing my limits. I'm in a slight deficit, but I think I can handle it for the moment. I'll actually take this reactor and deactivate it. Do a collector instead, because that'll be more efficient. All right, so now I've got snipers online. They're shooting stuff, as long as they keep doing it. I'm low on energy, in part because the snipers are online. But I can bring in additional um, items. All right, activate that. So now that that's up... Let's take this guy, move him forward, take this guy, move him forward. Okay, grab this guy, move him forward, so I can get another collector up. And I also need beamers now. To help. Because I've got a minute before that beamer launches, and 39 seconds before that one does. Okay, so I'm at a slight deficit, but not too bad. I can't get energy efficiency until 20, so I'm going to be a little bit. I just have to hope that the beamers that I have online are going to be enough. There's energy efficiency. Hopefully that can pull me into the green. What I want to do is get up here. Uh, to do that, though, I'm going to need... Can I get a can in there? No, so I'm going to put a can in there instead. Get that sniper moved up, and that sniper moved up. And then the other thing I need is I need to start defending my edges here. Come on, beamers. Why am I not? There we go. Why am I not hearing beams firing? Okay. Because if I defend the edges, that should keep me safe there. Uh, can do another energy efficiency. Okay, this is going online. It should start. Uh, apparently there's not a connection other than that. So, why is this guy not shooting? Oh, it's higher with level. Okay, so I need to move him up there. And then I need to get a relay in to beat it. Okay. And then move the beamers up so that they start shooting as early as possible. Okay, so that is pretty stable. Now I can start continuing my expansion now that I've got a good foothold in place. We'll let these beamers get destroyed and then I can start looking at what, come on, are you gonna hit? Hit, thank you. All right, that works. Pause it real quick. All right, now, so what we've got is there's a slip emitter here and emit a spore tower, two spore towers up there. I can come up this corner because I now have a foothold here. I think that's what I'm going to start doing is coming up through that corner. It's a matter of just figuring out what the way to do that is. So as these finish, now one of the things I have is I have anti-creeper, but I'm not doing anything with it. What'd I lose? Why'd I lose a snipe? Oh, crap. Alright, pause this. Pull the sniper back a little. Pull the beamer back a little. Drop a can in there. Keep going. They're gonna... Okay. Come on. Beamer's not going to survive. The cannon up. Get up there, dudes. Okay, so that's stabilized. That was close. Um, I was not paying enough attention to what was happening over here. Here I've got these in place to control the ingress of the creeper. But on this edge, I did not. Oh, I also have a siphon that I can use for aether, which will increase. All right, let's add and some back to speed. Okay, so back to building reactors to have the energy infrastructure that I need. All right, 
beamers are handling it, even if barely. But I'll take barely, so I'm just over... Alright, that's actually... Ah, where's my mouse? There it is. Right, deactivate these to keep that going quicker. As soon as that one finishes, I can activate these again. A little lower than I prefer. Activate. And, yeah, activate. Then I can do efficiency, packet speeds more. And a bit of a deficit, but I just finished that reactor, which should put me back over. Alright, trouble I have now is I'm not really advancing. I need to get to a point where I can start moving forward. For that, I think one of the things I'm going to need is a mortar to help reduce the stuff that's there. Uh, the other thing I want is I want some bombers. How many can I get away with? One, two, three. Let's go with three. And I need to keep building my energy infrastructure too while I'm at it, though. Uh, so we'll get one reactor going while I'm doing that. So I'm going to... I'll take and I'm going to start bombing up here just to reduce the overall level. Um, actually, I'll probably bomb here to try to prep that for uh, an attack on it. Which I think will work well enough. Um, grab another cannon. Put it there. Please don't scratch the screen. Thank you. And I only have one sniper here, so I want another one. And I'm at a deficit again. Alright, so let's go with energy efficiency to try and help with that. What am I building that I'm at a deficit? Is it just the sheer volume of it? Like, sheer amount of attacking I'm doing, or what? Not sure. Alright, well, I'm back out of it again. So let's get more reactors in place to better serve the future. Okay. Alright, select these three. No, no. Auto target. Go ahead. Okay. it again, deactivate, deactivate. Eh, you know what? I'll just let it build. I've got enough ammo in my stuff to not have to worry about it too much. Alright, so this is eight minutes. These will start bombing. With the bombing, I should be able to get that cleared to allow for... Right, let's drop him there. Put a relay... Nope, not quite. Move him there. Put a relay there. So he'll hold what they start. And then I can get a nullifier in place there. Hopefully. So if that nullifier builds fast enough... Let's get this guy up to help him. But that's definitely giving me a level of defense there, which is what I need. Okay, I need to get beamers moved up as well. I can move this sniper here. Oof. So I don't know where that guy's going. Uh, I need a cannon there anyway. Ah. So, this is now in place. I can drop a cannon into it to get this cleaned up some. Hopefully. Alright, so a cannon's not necessarily the best thing to have there. Let's get the mortar dropped in there to help keep that clean. We'll take these guys have them attack there. Hope that my cannons can handle what's going on. Alright. And they're keeping... And let's add another few bombers. And if my structures can handle it, I'm going to add some more.
Yeah, okay, so I can handle a few more reactors as well, because this is going to be pretty energy intensive coming up. They're bombing the heck out of that, but they're returning for now, so actually can I get some move speed, because that'll get them to and from their destination faster, which will make this a little easier. Okay, build a relay there, and jump a sniper up next to it. Because that'll better control that. Okay, with a sniper there, I can move a beamer up there. There. Get another beamer in there, and then that should be able to handle anything the beamers throw at me. Uh, it won't protect the Berthas, but I'm trying to do this without the Berthas. I don't think they're actually going to be beneficial, largely. Alright, let's get three cannons online. Because if I can drop three cannons up here... Alright, you three are almost ready. Let's go ahead and do that. And you can auto-launch if target is set. There we go. Forge. More packet speed. Structure. More reactors for energy. Because more energy is going to be a good thing eventually, I am sure. Alright, you three. Can you land... Yes, you can, especially with the anti-creep incoming. Good. We can land these here. They'll be able to control this as the anti-creep uh, coats it. And then once that's done, that helps with that. I can move on to this spore. Because I can't take out this slip emitter, unfortunately. There's nothing I can do about it. But, for example, I can drop a couple of uh, mortars to handle this section. Alright, now, because this is clean, I'm just gonna build those. He's got a minute, so I'm gonna... Oh, no, oh, land, land. Alright, so apparently they were able to handle that. Didn't have to worry about it. Alright, build this up, and that up there. since it's all about angles. Alright, so this is going well. Uh, at least it appears to be. Biggest issue is how to deal with the slip emitter. Can I get a relay beyond it? I can. So if I can get three more cannons to be ready to drop on that upper section here, then I don't have to... The, the slip emitter right now is managed. It's controlled. So it's just a matter of getting past it. I'm at 13 minutes, but with all of the, with that mortar launching, I think I've got a good handle on this. So let's drop that in. Move him. He can stay there. Uh, structure. I want to be able to drop a relay quickly when the time comes. Come on, guys, get this stuff cleared. Cleared. It's cleared. All right. They've got that cleared. I need this relay built because they're going to be using up ammo like crazy. Relay's built. Get back in. Come on, ammo. There we go. There's ammo. It's clear. All right. So now if I drop a nullifier there, that'll take out that one. And then I can drop a cannon here when that nullifier goes off. Because a cannon there will allow for clearing of this upper section. And then I... I don't know that I need to destroy that spore, but I'm probably going to just because anyway. Um, I'd rather not have it if I can help it. Um, and unfortunately, this is going to be so just far enough that it won't hit this, and I want to get to that as well. So, I don't necessarily... Oh, I didn't realize these guys weren't doing anything. Huh. Well, let's get them attacking there. No. All of you. Attack there. I wonder if they're just not full. Is that what's going on? It must be that they're just not full. Okay. So, relay in, defeat it, and then a cannon in. And then let's get, get the couple mortars up to really make this effective. Weapons, how close do I have to be? I have to be there. Yep. So get a couple cannons moved down, get a collector in place to 
teleport that. And now I can get a nullifier there. Well, I could if I had a collector. Okay, once that collector's done, I'll get this message and I'll be able to destroy that. Actually, with this, I'm... Alright, Abraxas. It was, a, it was a hard fight to collect this message, so tell me it isn't just an entertainment vid. Leah, I never would have believed we would find this, but this is the second part of the message we found on Ruin. The treatise on cyclo cyclical eternity from the Saloi? I recall that the Saloi were the only civilization to contact the Loki and get a response. They said something about an Ark, and the Loki responded with, more so than all others, you must perish. Yes. The Soloi were special in this regard, and in many others, so the first part of the treatise on cyclical eternity proposed that it was possible to create a device, something unique and singular to each universe. But as I said on Ruin, the Soloi were prone to fanciful theories which had little connection to reality. If that is the case, then why do you seem all that interested in the second part of the treatise? Because the name the Soloi gave this theoretical device was Ark Eternal. I'll need more time to process all of the message and hopefully understand it. I suggest heading to the next system as soon as possible. All right, then. So we have that. Um, this is building, but I need another one, and I am not quite close enough, so I need to move him up and him up. Get this guy up as well. These two are going to stay behind to kind of help control that. And just because I can while I'm waiting for stuff to happen, I'll build some more energy out here. That didn't, right. Okay, so it's almost up. Get that there. They're doing their darndest to kind of clean this up so that I can get through, but it is certainly an uphill battle right now. Okay, so weapons wise, if I drop a nullifier, no. So close. Okay. Put that guy up too. That'll it'll come back a little bit, but not too terribly much. Okay. If I could get a mortar in there, that might help too. But as it stands, I don't know that it's worth trying to get the mortar in there. Um, this is, huh? Surprisingly. Hmm. This is a stalemate I wasn't expecting. Alright, so I gotta figure out how to break the stalemate. Now, one way is... More... More attacking. And I have plenty of energy to build up more mortars and stuff with. Nullifier needs to be... Right there. Which I can't do right now. There's just too thick of an attack coming in. So once these guys relaunch, which is taking a while, um, that should be enough, I'm thinking. But man, okay, there we go. Now it's falling back. I can build, I can build there, but I can't actually because... There we go. That'll work. So now we'll get that nullifier built, that'll take that out, and that'll be the end of it. Uh, not quite 20 minutes, assuming that I've gotten everything that I need to. Not seeing anything in the distance. It may have been faster to go for these, given how little creep is actually being output. I'm not sure. Uh, I think just going up this center was quick, but we'll see what other people... Oh, wow. I should have been paying more attention. I could have used range and speed to get things done faster. Uh, speaking of speed, I could be using build speed and packet speed too, but, and I could also be using relays to get things there faster. Why am I almost out of energy? Probably just due to the sheer volume of attacking I'm doing. Okay. Come on, just a little bit more. Yes! Okay, so 1918, claim that victory. Submit the score and see how terribly... Well, 16, so that's only three minutes from uh, what the highest score was. I'm slowly closing in. All right, continue that. And next time, we will move on to Fricked. Thanks, all. 
Hello all, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button below. You can also subscribe using the channel image in the center of the video. If you are interested in more content in this video series, to the left is a link to the full playlist. Alternatively, when it is available, to the right will be a link to the next video in the series. Thanks all.